It's your boy Noto coming to you with another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to talk about why unattractive females go for handsome select men. So, if you're new here or you already been here, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment, go and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Now, this is a subject that it might be, no, actually, to be honest, this is something I'm just going to keep it real about, man. Straight up. You know, over here, everybody that know, know, though, I'm going to keep it real. And one disclaimer. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, okay? Uh, the beekeeper. I mean, the beholder. Beholder. So, whatever you deem is unattractive is unattractive to you. We talk about the unattractive women to you. So, they're like, oh, it's going to get Noto, bitch. Attack Noto. Nah, fuck all that. You already know what I'm talking about. So if she's unattractive to you or whatever, that's, that's what I'm going to relate it to. Okay? But anyway, the reason the unattractive women go for handsome select men, and this reason is a lot of guys will probably try to deny this, really will try to deny this. They'll probably sway up and down that, no, I ain't never done this, I ain't never done this. Let's keep it a buck, man. Let's keep it a buck. The reason why unattractive females usually go for handsome select men is simply because they've had them before. Yeah, you don't, know, you don't think so? You don't think that they've ever had them before? You don't think that, oh, maybe, oh, damn, maybe on like a dry night, you never know. You might not want to be seen in person with this girl. You might not never want to go out nowhere with this girl, but she got some mean ass talk. Oh, she could just be a butterface, good for smashing. But you just don't want to be walking in public with it. Yeah, be those type of girls. Yeah, you don't think so? Let's go. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it a buck, man. Come on, I'm gonna keep it a whole buck, bro. I didn't met a whole bunch of select dudes. They get a whole bunch of bitches. They get a whole bunch of girls, bro. Straight up. But the thing is, it be dry nights, and I've seen them on dry nights. I'd be like, damn. Because I'm, I'm gonna talk about my experiences after. But I've seen them on dry nights, and then I'm like, damn. And I see how they be sneaking some of these girls up to their dorms. I'm like, wow. You wouldn't expect that person to be with that person. But yeah, that's why they be so confident. That's why you think they be so arrogant. The thing about it is when the unattractive females, they'll come at you and they'll be acting like, oh, they stand it so high because they didn't have a handsome select dude. So now it's like, oh, since they, since they making him or whatever satisfying them, they feel like they stand as a high, but that's not the case. That's definitely not the case. You can't do that. But they, that's in the darkness. That's behind closed doors. But what they try to do is they try to convert those experience from, experiences from having intercourse or whatever they was doing. <laughs> Let's keep it like that. Having intercourse, sex, whatever. Fucking behind the doors. And they try to translate that as in making it seem like their S&V goes up just because they was messing with this dude. And they, the dude was only just trying to get a nut off a dry night. That's what, use the shit, that's what the shit usually be. And they try to use that as ammunition. They try to make it seem like, oh, I can't fuck with no regular dude. Or I, I done had this dude. That's why they be so arrogant like that, guys. They be, no, you ever wonder why a lot of these unattractive chicks be so arrogant for real? Seriously. You never understood that? Like, you got to understand why, why they have so much confidence out of nowhere. It don't come from nowhere. It's because they've had some. Let's keep it a buck. On those dry nights. It's been times where I've done it. Yeah, on the dry night. We all, let's keep it a buck, man. Let's keep it a buck. Now, let's, let's not, you know we're going to keep it real over here. I'm going to keep it real over this bitch. Keep it key. I'm going to keep it the real motherfucking deal. McCoy. Around this motherfucker. Straight up. Even had these times where you hit a trick that you could probably consider unattractive. But just because you have some good ass head and shit, the other bitches probably just ain't, ain't, ain't phoning home right now. Shit. Why not slide her through? We call those old reliables. Those old reliables. And you'd be like, man, no, no, man. No, no, you, you, you tripping, man. Ain't nobody ever fuck with no untreated girl, man. You know this bitch, you capping, man. You be fucking the muggle at home, man. You, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, man. Shut the fuck up. Name one motherfucking that still attractive dude that ain't never, uh, handsome select dude that ain't never, ever had an unattractive girl. Never. And I'll show you a dude that's full of shit. Straight up. I'll show you a dude that's full of shit, a full of shit, especially if they talking about they getting all these girls and shit like that. And the ones that feel like, oh, they always, 
trying to get out there and party and shit like that. Bro, it's been times. I know dudes like that because I was one of those dudes that feel like, oh, man, especially about the time when my pussy rate was high. But it's been times when it was dry. It's been times when it was dry and you were like, shit, you're going to have to... <laughs> them girls busy or whatever, doing whatever the hell they else they doing. I ain't sold my seeds to get them. Shit, no, nah, let's want me a nut for the night. And you talking about so you don't want you something for the night? And he was just be like, bro, you just went on? You don't want to just, it's girl you probably not want to be seen with? Yeah. Y'all know the type of girls I'm talking about, bro. Y'all already know the type of girls I'm talking about. Now, if if, if you don't know about the old reliable, most likely you, 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 you ain't really dabbled in this world. You, you don't, you probably ain't really been considered to select to a lot of, because I'm not going to even really equate that to being considered select, but I'm just going to say this happens, guys, because I don't even want to go way off subject with that. But this definitely happens to handsome select dudes, of course. Handsome select dudes do indulge in that. They do indulge in that. Now, a lot of them are going to be like, oh, man, no, 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 man, you, you cap, man. You cap, man. Don't fuck with those bitches like that, man. You, yeah, no, man, you want some crazy ass shit, man. I don't act like you the only bitch you ever fuck with some bad bitch. Let's just keep, let's keep it a book. And if that, it just that it might be a very extremely small percentage of a motherfucker that just happened to be surrounded by nothing but. But that is, the probability there is slim to damn none. It's slim to none. But that's, but at, a, at the same time, bro, that's why these chicks that you feel to seem as unattractive be acting so uppity. Why you think they be acting so prissy and acting like, oh man, oh, this dude that's on her level, I guess that 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 she would she would call him ugly, but she don't look no better than him. You see what I'm saying? You know how they they'll 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 judge themselves and look at the mirror. They always judge themselves in comparison to the man. So what they gonna say is, oh man, he he don't look good enough for me. Just because they didn't have this handsome select dude. Yeah, they'll do that. They'll do that. So they they automatically saying like, okay, just because she didn't suck up this dude and and and, and made it, and you know what I'm saying and, and made him finish. And now he keep coming back and coming back. Now she feel like she pulling dudes. You see what I'm saying? She probably got this dude, and he probably he probably spread it around that. Oh, she got that. She got that fire. She got that fire ass top, bro. What's up? And she end up fucking uh sucking up the whole crew. And then the she'll probably feel like us. Uh, uh, that'll blow her motherfucking head up like a blow pop. Best believe it. She got the motherfucking. She got the thing down pat. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? She know. She know. She set the record. What are you talking about? She set the record. Those types set the record, guys. They set the record. Now, if you just want to be sit there and, and cap and be like, oh, middle, middle. okay, I understand. I understand. And you already know what I'm all automatically going to think. So it is what it is. But, bro, that shit happened, bro. That shit happens a whole lot more than you think it does. Way more. Just uh, every time you end up seeing these unattractive females and they saying that, oh, they got these such high standards and this and that and this and that, they've had a sense. So like do before. But they ain't probably been nothing but a, 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 a I guess they would call them a cum bucket. Or just something for the night. Uh, a smash for the night. Yeah, just get the rocks off and it just go off. Yeah, it might even come at the time, time, be coming back, coming back. But they'll and they'll misinterpret that and make it seem like they, they're getting dudes. You know what I mean? They'll do that or they'll be like, oh, I'm pulling. I pull dudes. They, they, I hate when they say that shit. But I, you can say what the hell you want to say, but I'm still pulling them. When you a girl, you have a vagina, most likely you're going to pull some type of dudes anyway. Somebody going to want to smash some anyway. Regardless. But the thing is, like, guys, it's nothing to be ashamed about. It's nothing to be ashamed about. Most, mostly, just about all of us have been there. It is what it is. Just keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck with myself. I've been there. I've been there, and it, it wasn't just when I was just non-select either. I've been there. Time, sometimes we want to get your rocks off. You are gonna do what you gotta do. But I ain't saying I'm just gonna smash anything unless you're just gonna be oh cuddly or something like that. But something you probably just don't even want to be seen in public with, or you know whatever. Because in college, you probably have to do some shit like that a lot because you you walk around with a certain bitch. You walk around with a certain girl, you're going to have to, uh, that might mess up your ratio of girls. She, because you're messing with her, she dated. Other girls might not want to mess with you because of, because of that. So alleviate a lot of that. You got to do a lot of shit behind closed doors in those types of communities to keep from clashing. You see what I mean? 
But some moms don't really care. But some moms be like, oh, you, you mess with her because you know they always compare themselves to each other. So they, they feel like their girls, they don't deem her unattractive. You're like, that's what he like? Oh, no, I ain't fucking with him. Yeah, that'll happen a lot too. But the crazy part about this shit is I've seen dudes now. Seen dudes. Had damn that the captain of the cheerleader squad. Smashing these look, smash, smash these look. What they call them on Jersey Shore? Grenades. <laughs> grenades, bro. Smashing grenades, bro. What? What? On a night or on, on a dry night? Come on, bro. I'd have, I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd have been there. I've been there. We we run trains, we've done all this crazy shit. They be in the mist. They be in the mist. Now, the thing is. I'm not just going to diet up and say every handsome select man has done this. I'm not going to say it. But what I will say is this goes on way more than you think it does. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. You would you 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 would not believe if uh, you you just trust me. You would not believe it. Trust me. Trust and believe. It happens way more than you think. But anyway, I ain't gonna stretch this out any further. I just wanted to go on to keep it real with that little subject right there because. That's something that happened, and a lot of guys gonna deny it. They gonna try to cap and say they ain't never been there, like they ain't never had no all reliable, like they ain't never had a little, uh, little for the night. You know what I'm saying? A little bang bang, choo choo train, kick ass out, like and sing like Eddie Kane. She make it sing like Eddie Kane. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, they ain't like they had that chitty chitty bang bang, man. But anyway, if you enjoying the content, man, go to click that like button, go to comment, go to subscribe, click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado. Remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves if they wouldn't work at it. I'm out.